Hey, how's it going? Um, I'm Norman. I'm going to be streaming today using FL Studios. Just going to make sure everything's good to go and uh, we'll get started. All right, so um, this is FL Studios, incredible software. Uh, I like to use it a lot to make music. Uh, I'm gonna try to mess around with some samples that I have. I downloaded some before we began just to have some ideas and I'll see where it goes, but if it turns out bad, that's okay. It's a part of the process. So I'm just trying a couple loops in that I already have from Splice. And for those that don't know, uh, Splice is kind of like a sample bank. You can find sounds on Splice, um, and they're all pretty much clear as far as copyright goes. So you don't have to worry about uh, getting a copyright strike or anything like that. Unless, I wonder if someone makes, a, makes music with Splice, if they use that and then they make a song, and then by doing the song, if it's now copyright for other people to post. I feel like that might happen, but that's pretty interesting. But uh, yeah, so um, got some sounds. Let me just make sure I have everything that I want. So this is the full loop that we've got from Splice. I'll just play it for you. Right sure that okay? the loop that we have. What I like about Spice also is I can find a whole loop of something that I really enjoy, say this loop, and then I could take that and just break it down as much as I want to. So I can get the stems out of each instrument. Sorry, I'm just trying to get my windows right. So we have these stems that I've gotten. Um, so you heard the full one. This one right here is just the guitar from that. And this one, so this one, this is just the chime. They all sound really nice. So I was gonna use some of that. I also got some percussions that I wanted to add. Some clothes and open hats. Then this cool kit too. Really gritty. Uh, I'll just use that as a texture. So I'm gonna go ahead and try my best with this. Took off the points. I did it. The players. Too slow. Oh, my time is off. Because of the way it's loading all of these. 
But I also might be because I throw green in from Spice instead of just loading it. I just went ahead and sped it up to make it faster and then I reset the pitch because uh, once you do up the speed you also change the key that this is in and one thing that's nice about Splice is uh, it gives you the key of every sample so you can add instrumentation on top of that and you can just keep the, the song in tune with itself so that's corrected it for that um, when you time stretch it does change a lot as far as sampling goes the audio, the pitch changes a lot, so I think I'm going to keep this at 97, delete this, and then just load in the actual full track through Edison. I really don't like these weak points. I'm going to get rid of them. I'll just add this into Edison. It always does that. It shouldn't do that. Yeah, it should not be doing that right there. Um, here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back and uh, just reload FL Studio, so I'll be right back. Okay. I'm sure. Okay, so we're back really quick. Um, hopefully, a little reset fixed my issues that I was having earlier. I'm just going to find the actual splice pack. Splice. Broken soul. I have like five different splice sample pack folder things. Oh, here it is. And they're all different. Let's just organize a little bit better. And hopefully when I just drag this in, it's still super small. When you drag something in and you get it closer to the actual time, it's supposed to get larger, not smaller. Like this, this doesn't make any sense. I guess it's just this one type of sample that I have. But I'm just going to put it at 97 and then thanks for time. Now this just goes as long as it needs to. So yeah, resetting it didn't do anything. with beat wise um this might go on for a lot like just repetitively so i'm just going to return this down so you don't get too annoyed by it usually when i do this i am pretty meticulous with it
got that going on. Let's see, we got some questions. Let me make sure those don't go unnoticed. Uh, so I usually get these sample packs from Splice. Uh, I don't really make samples myself too much. I want to get into that, but I'm just like, you have to learn a lot. And like, I'm trying to learn piano, so I'm learning that so I can just get better at laying down some sort of musical phrase and using that. But if you check out splice.com, it's subscription based, but uh, you can get MIDI progressions, you can get samples, drum kits, anything. It's all on Splice and it's, it's fairly cheap. Um, I really enjoy it. I've had it for maybe like three years and I've never had any issues with uh, not having enough sounds to choose from. So it's just, it's a huge library of sounds. that kid I mean, my actual kids I'm just gonna add a beefier punchier kick That's good. Um, so I'm just gonna duplicate this kick pattern. Usually I don't uh, quantize, but I'm just going to quantize for the sake of just having the texture down. But I don't really like to quantize because you can just be more musical with everything. Like the kick I didn't quantize, but uh, I'm going to go and change the velocity on them just so they move a little more. And quantizing is basically what I've done with the hi-hats. I've... Uh, don't let me so I've made them super robotic so they always hit on beat and it sounds good but when everything's quantized it's just too choppy so I'm gonna change these but I'm just gonna have them so I have the, the volume right change the groove. I need to get a snare, but I, I might do a clap. Not bad.
I like that. Right now I'm changing the tempo to uh, match the original. 
but it'll be a change in speed. And you can go back up. Thank you. It wasn't, it wasn't much. I'm, honestly, I'm not really feeling it too much. Uh, yeah, I'm like the volume, I need to change the volumes and whatnot, add a little reverse open hat to give it a little whoosh sound effect. Um, hard to explain verbally, but I think if I just do it, it'll make a lot more sense. I'm just gonna add that really fast. Oh, it's already reversed, but yeah, that kind of idea. Person. I wanted to do that little loud clip at the end, so I just cut it. Should sound slowed down. This is too slow, but I just want to see. So, uh, 
gonna do a full 180 really fast. Just change it, change it up, cause this happens like 80% of the time. I'm like, oh yeah, it's a nice. And I'm like, no, it's not. Triples almost, so I'm gonna just switch it to so one six.
just go to the pan and just move these down a little bit. Make it feel like they're moving more. And then there's one last little trick that I'm gonna do. So I went ahead and quantize these and I don't want these to be quantized. So I'm just gonna shift them over. Snap to grid and just press shift and right and you can move over a little bit. Alright, hello. I am a real one, two, three. That's a nice emoji. I didn't know we had such cool emojis. It's pretty pretty good one. So the key this is in is an E minor. Um, I'm sorry, music school teachers from middle school and high school, but I don't remember my skills. So I'm just gonna Google E minor really fast. This is my cheat sheet, which is also why Splice is so good because I know the scale. So when I look this up, um, it's gonna be I'm gonna be on key when I add a MIDI. So I'm just gonna add a MIDI. I don't know what. Maybe we can do some synth. But it already is kind of has, it has that like texture of a synth already there. So, um, yeah, I don't know what to add. The open hands, I'll add the open hands because I am real one, two, three. And then, are those Mickey Mouse hands? They look like his gloves. Oh, no. um, I believe keyboards is a, is a good one, but it might not be. There's like three really good synths that I have, and I just don't know the names. Like, which one is it? Uh, typically, I would just click through each one to find something that I like. I don't know if I should do that with you guys, because that's a lot. Yeah, that's E minor scale, you know, just have this F sharp. Let's see what we can do.
little uh, chords and harmonies. I hear a bass line, so I'm just gonna swap this out completely. Scrap it, we add in a bass. I'm gonna replace this with a bass ones or an orchestra, I think. Right, that's what I'm saying. They do look like Mickey Mouse, just a little bit. I thought this had bass. I don't see the bass guitars. I think I had the wrong, wrong one loaded. Yeah, this is all like orchestra stuff. But there is some cool orchestra stuff. Nobody uses oboes. Let's add an oboe. Quality oboes. This is cool to have. So we're gonna swap this out. It wasn't that so it's this one. It's this one. This has to have the guitars. My FL might crash. Whenever I load stuff it crashes. So if it crashes, you know they say man, it's meant to be. Everything happens for a reason. And what's bad about this is uh can't play anything while it loads, so I guess this will be a good time. You know, how's your day going? Hope it's going good. It's weather, it's something else. Let me tell you, man. The cold and wet is not a good combination. Not for the fainted hearted, and I think I'm a fainted hearted type of person because, man, I can't, I can't take that type of weather. So, I've got my guitars. This is the guitar stuff. I'm looking for the bass guitar. Raven bass starts right here. Better. 
think that's a little better. I'm looking at the furniture. Maybe actually check this out. I think that might be better. I don't know. Oh, was it clipping? Sometimes it clips. I notice when I stream on Discord, it clips a lot. I mean, my volume's pretty low. That's what I want to do, but that's not what I do. sound engineering on this. Um, so if you take something like this synth texture piece, and if you add a filter, a low pass filter, and you oscillate it a little bit, you can get a nice womp, 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 womp sound effect. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just do some manual oscillation. Womp, womp, womp. That's the womp, then it goes back. So let's just try it. to do. Um, I have this selected. I'm just going to automate this. So, pass. so what I do is I take this, bring it all the way down, bring this all the way down, automate it. And as I turn it up right here, it will apply the filter. That in mind, let me just change this into a wave, make it easy. Yeah, slow it down.
Let's change it to the pulse so it's smoother. Right now it doesn't look smooth at all. It doesn't look smooth. Yeah. It'll get smooth. If you if I can find the middle halfway point. Oh yeah. Then I'll reverse it. Oh no. Alright, it's supposed to get smooth. There we go. That's the smoothness. So this is nice, but we need to double this. And I don't think I can change. Oh, I messed it up. Oh man. Okay, that's not bad. I changed the key when I changed the time on this. And that's why the bass didn't sound because of the key. I gotta change this now. come back to that I'm just gonna add a percussion loop really fast let's go to the splice packs and I believe the count yeah count is that guy he does awesome stuff I'm just gonna find some some hats Take this and probably oh.
put this in gross meat and just cut it to triplets. This one's fast, I'm going to reset the This has a bass line. I'm gonna just see how it sounds and if it sounds like it might have.
Okay, I like how that sounds slow. Maybe if we speed it up, it might also sound good. Maybe. Let's try it. Maybe that sound good. Uh, messed up. Maybe. Copy. Save. Sounds really out of key right now, but let me fix everything. This isn't bad. Maybe if I have any army, we can put 
an acapella, but I don't know if I have any clean ones. Gotta be clean. Gotta be clean. Uh. I like to add an acapella just because it just gives it that completeness, you know, it gives it a little bit of a pocket, like someone actually rapping in a pocket. So it just feels more appealing that way, I guess. I'm just search clean and see what pops up. Nice, we've got a couple clean ones. This is relevant, so. Oh, uh, it looks pretty crazy right now, but um, I really need to break up this one pattern that has a bass guitar and stuff, everything in there, so it's easier to organize. But um, when I do that, then it'll really look crazy. So this is 70 BPM we lucked out. I know people don't listen to Logic anymore, but we lucked out. So I'm gonna this, see how it sounds. Tell me how you feel. Oh, actually, the pitch needs to be up, otherwise, we're gonna get struck. Reshift the pitch a little bit, make it kind of chipmunk. Down the volume, so it's not hard. Tell me how you feel. Tell me how you feel. I feel like the grass is green. Everything is just every day, miss. And I really wonder what they pay. We even know. Do you even know what they really want to be a superstar? Famous. Do you really want to be a thing? It's just in my mind. Do you really want to be famous? Do you really want to be a superstar? Do you Sorry, this sounds weird, but I'm just trying to. Do you really want to be famous? Do you really want to be a superstar? Do you really want to get dangerous? Do you really want to be famous? Do you really want to be famous? Do you really want to be famous? Do you really want to be a superstar? Do you really want to get dangerous? Do you even know what it could be?
flip by channel, and now we have all this extra stuff going. Now it is. My kick's down. Magic time. Open hats. Another snare. I'm just organizing it a little bit.
copy this or just copy this map and then put a different face. Find a center. I think this one has a good center face. They're all technically center faces if you think about it, but what a nice fake. Taking a minute to load. So you guys have any pets? I like to have a keep keep a cat by me to help me chill. Um, Load up a different one. Jupiter. The Jupiter 8. Oh no. Wait for the right now. Just wait. I might have a little bit of a situation. I think it, oh, it almost froze. It did not freeze though. That was crazy. Oh, base. Yeah. A little bit of that going. Let's see. We bring down. And then control bring down active. I just went ahead and uh, shifted over this extra meaty base that I had, you know, shift that over so I can just add it to the playlist. Hey, thank you. Thank you very much. I think this is a decent. Point for this one. Oh, that's bad. I'm just gonna save this. I don't know what to save it as, uh, so let's just save it.
name did it set? I'll just go into a different one that I need now. We're on that trip. A good route. A little like an hour, a little less than an hour and a half. We did that. Not bad. Not bad. So for the last bit, I'll just show off some of the stuff I've made. Takes a lot of love. Sometimes I like to change the background picture to FL Studio, so I need to see what I have it as. Today might be a good anime character. Enjoy anime. So this is something I've been working on. I added it in the film I think I should add it just because. Rest in peace, him the The go. Clever nerd, the best MC with no chain you ever heard. Take it from the Tech Nine Hola. David, you don't know the next shine from Shinola. Everything that glitter ain't fish scale. Let me think, don't let a faint get his smell. A shot of Jack out of back, it's not an axe. I'll pitch it down before we get in trouble. Holla back, clack, clack, blocker. Villainy, feel him in your heart. Chaco chart, top of start shit, stop or be a smart shopper. Shot a cop day around the way, about the stable. Who the nose to? some sort of doom verse. Uh, luckily I knew the lyrics, so I can just do a quick little uh, edit for any explicit stuff. Yeah, there's a lot of just meth doom flip in here. Um, this was an interesting flip I tried to make. 
me and my friends, we usually take a sample and then we all try to give our own interpolation on it, music wise. So we just kind of did that, but uh, I didn't really like mine too much. I'm gonna show it anyways, maybe I can make some edits and to get it to where I wanted it to be. But we give each other a little deadline, nice way to push each other and make some music. Pretty sure I had messed up the installation with FL Studios because it used to not load this much. At least on my old, my previous laptop, and then my cat destroyed that one, so I had to get a new one. But on this one, it loads a lot slower. I'm not really sure what the issue is. Probably have to like reinstall it. It gets fixes it. But also the synths are a lot of a lot of resources needed to load those. Here we go. It's moving. Moving. So again, same same concept. Took the sample. Took that. Um, let me just change the volume back. Did a couple flips with it. But it, it is pretty unfinished. I don't know if this is good. It's called lemon seed, so I named it after a tea I drink. It's a delicious tea. Ooh, it loaded fast. I mean, it's not finished. I don't want to play it because I know it's not good. I need to delete that. This is good, though. A lot of downtime in between loading stuff, but I trust that it'll do its part, you know. I do do a little bit of like mixing and audio engineering, but it's not too much, but just for like friends and things, it's nice to learn because I can to try out new plugins and try out new concepts like sound engineering and whatnot, which is pretty fun. But, um, a lot of my projects are those, so I would show them, but it's other people's work. So I wouldn't really know if they'd be cool with that or not. So, yeah. Yeah,
Oh, retro color. Oh, no. Um, my inspiration process, like, uh, man, so my inspiration, I think I take a lot of inspiration from Mad Lib as a producer. Mad Lib, Jadilla. There's so many people I can name off, and it's just like a huge list, but typically when, like, I try to make a beat, I've, at first, I was always just like, okay, let me try to make a beat that sounds like insert producer's name. And it was a lot of that until um, I started understanding my own process. And once I was able to understand my own process, uh, producing just kind of came a lot easier. And it was a, a little bit faster to, to make a beat, or at least just to put out an idea, not exactly finish a beat, because that can take forever depending on what mood you're in. But just um, I really like jazz. I'd say, like, if I had, like, a genre that I kind of gravitate towards, I'd say jazz, soul, that sort of process. So just understanding jazz percussions and then through understanding jazz percussions, um, through that, just using that, putting on the typical hip-hop drums, you know, snare on two, kick on one, plus whatever, and then... Um, yeah, I just add a lot of percussion instruments. That's one thing that I do a lot. I like to put percussions in pockets, but I don't really like to um, put instruments in pockets. And that's something that I'm trying to work on because that's just an attribute. If this was like a video game and I was building my custom character, I would have put like all my points in percussion and no points into everything else. So I'm trying to balance out the other the other stats. But my go-to style is pretty much um, jazz influence. Yes. This might not be able to load because yeah, it's not gonna be able to load because um, retro color for me broke RC20. It broke, so I have to reinstall it. Since that's not gonna load, I'm just gonna add it because I've already made it. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for asking. It helps me feel better about these downtimes in between loading giant projects. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna take this, add it into Edison, because I won't change anything, and then I just won't save the beat afterwards. I'm not be clicking at all. Let me do a new project. And just drag it right here. Cool, I'll be here doing my thing, you know, playing stuff. Phrase called I haven't done it much, but it kind of makes me want to do it now. 
I used to take songs and then try to chop and screw them. But I'll see what, what songs I have on here. On me. And I'll just load it in and try to chop and screw it. It's usually a, it could be a generally fast vibe to produce. Um, Then I'm gonna look up the BPM. Ninety. Nice. Slow it down.
Mm, I can feel that. I can feel that. I feel that for sure.
that's not a stretch. Super, super twisted. That's kind of a miss, but it is what it is. Turn it back to four bar. Oh, that's not four bar. All right. I put the whole song in four bars when that shouldn't have happened. Got something. All right, really quick, I'm gonna find a pitch for this video. pitch. Touch it. I turn on.
strictly 808. Little bit more. How's that? It always stopped like that. Because it's at a room, maybe? Yeah, that probably. All right, so we're getting close to the end. Um, yeah, that's about it. Try some stuff. This is kind of interesting, so I'm definitely gonna mess around with that. Um, I'm gonna save this for now. Put that, yeah. And uh, yeah, so thanks for tuning in. Once again, I'm Norm. I was using FO Studios. The first half we used a lot of Splice. Um, near the end, I just decided Flip whatever is on my computer, so we're gonna do that. Uh, thanks, and I'll probably do this again not next week, but the week after. I'll be on here again from four to six, so uh, yeah, thanks again. <laughs>